Okay, this morning, right, we're going to look at uh, uh, making a difference. Lah. Amen. You know, even as we finish this last uh, part of the book of 1 Peter, lah, you know, God wants us to make a difference. Lah. You know, over these last few weeks or months, right, we've looked at handling trials of life, overcoming uh, trials to Christ, walking in holiness, loving fervently. And then two weeks ago, we did family's priority. And today, right, we're going to look at making a difference. Lah. Amen. And we will wrap this up this, this morning. Lah. Amen. You know, God wants each one of us, right, as you look at the book of 1 Peter, lah, it's a book of a church, right, that has been through some real trials. Lah. It was, you know, during the time where the Romans were persecuting the church. Lah. And please, uh, when you say persecute, pastor, I'm persecuted. Lah. Please, uh, the word persecution, for them, right, it cost their lives. Lah. Amen. It was a fiery trial. There was a bad, uh, you know, there was some of the emperors like Nero. They, you know, he was really sick in his head. Lah. Amen. They were using, uh, you know, all forms of torture and the Christians were being butchered. Lah. And so these were some of the trials that he, they were going through. Lah. And amidst this, right, God speaks, right? You know, God uses 1 Peter to write this book to some of the churches in the present-day Turkey. Lah. Amen. And, you know, here he wrote to encourage them lah, as they went through trials. Lah. Amen. This morning, making a difference. Lah. You know, we are all called to make a difference. Lah. Each one of us. Lah. I don't know about you guys, right? But one of the things that I want to see in my life, I want to live it to the, a maximum. Lah. You know, I don't, want, I don't want... You know, we are not here, right? <clears throat> We've just got one life to live. And, you know, we want to live it to a maximum. You see, life is short. Lah. Amen. You know, life, right, is short. And, you know, we are here today and gone tomorrow. Lah. Just the other day, right, we, we, my wife and I met a, 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 a lady. Lah. You know, a young lady, right, you know, in, the, uh, in, in just the last few months, lost her husband and lost her father. Lah. You know, just within one month. Lah. Amen. And, you know, life is short. Lah. You know, sometimes, right, there are no explanations that we can give for some of the trials or tragedies that we go through. Lah. But each one of us, even this morning, we can make a difference with what we have. Lah. You know, we can make a difference, right, this morning, right, with the life that God has given us. Lah. Amen. You know, it's about moving forward. It's not about, right, you know, standing, right, a status quo, or moving backwards or retreating backwards. It's about moving forward. Lah. And each one of us this morning, right, I want to really encourage each one of us. Lah. We've just got one life to live. Lah. Amen. You know, even in the book of 1 Peter, it speaks about we are pilgrims and strangers on this earth. Lah. You know, we are pilgrims here. Lah. Amen. As we journey through, right, our life on earth, you know, maybe 70 years, 80 years, amen. But listen, we're just pilgrims here. Lah. We are, you know, temporary, we just have temporary residences here. Lah. Amen. Why? Because our permanent residence, residence is in heaven. Lah. We live for eternity. Lah. And each one of us, we must realize as we journey through this, lah, we live for eternity. Lah. And even this morning, right, we need to live our lives really carefully. Lah. Amen. As I look at, you know, this whole thing of making a difference, we're going to look, right, at quite a lot of scriptures in 1 Peter chapter 4. Lah. But there are a few things that are involved. Lah. If you and I want to make a difference this morning, lah, we got to be different. Lah. Amen. Lah. We cannot, right, even this morning, right, you know, you know look at like the world. Lah. You know, we need to be different. Lah. If you and I want to make a difference this morning, lah, Amen. We need to, you know, do the works of God. We need to serve. If you and I want to make a difference this morning, Amen. Church, listen. We need to touch lives for Jesus Christ. You know, the most wonderful, one of the greatest experiences that we can have this morning. Amen. You know, it's beyond, right? You know, listen. It's about helping a person in need and seeing that need met. I don't know about you, right? But, you know, two weeks ago, you know, when the boys and the girls and the boys home came and stood up here and they gave their performances, Amen. Their presentations. Lah. And you know, when, I, when Ivan came up and when he stood here, right, as he walked up with his walking stick, lah, and when he released that walking stick and he put his hands up, lah, that's what it is. Lah. Amen. The joy that we will have, right, in seeing, right, one life, one need man. Lah. Or, you know, the joy that we can have, right, of seeing life start. There's no greater joy. Lah. There's no greater experience. Lah. You know, listen, you know, the greatest man on earth is not the man who has the greatest number of servants. Lah. It is the man, right, who serves the greatest number of people. Amen. And you know, and you need, we need to leave a legacy, right, for our generation. Come on, church. Amen. We are here, right, to leave a legacy. Amen. We are here, right, you know, when we go, right, you know, let people remember us, that someone cares for us. Amen. Let people know, right, the world out there, whether they're Muslim or Buddhist or Hindu, there are people that care. Amen. And, you know, each one of us, we want to live that legacy. You know, it's really sad, you know, some of you, as you read, you know, I read uh, the papers yesterday, la, about the two-year-old girl from China, la. remember? You know, amazing, you know, how, right, you know, you know not sad, amazing, but it's really sad, la. amen. You know, amazing in a negative sense, la. you know, really sad, right, you know, how, right, a two-year-old girl, right, could run, be run over by a van, knocked down, another van comes and knocks her, 
18 passerbys walk by la, and nobody reaches out to help her. La. So we live in a sick world. La. A two-year-old girl, I think her name is Yue Yue, Yu Yu, Yu E, Y U E, Y U E. And a two-year-old girl, right, you know, you know, walks past the street, you know, accidentally, a van goes over her, the guy stops, and a guy slows down and moves away. La. Another van knocks her, and 18 passerby, amen, walk past her, and nobody even bothers to help this two-year-old girl. And then, right, a street vendor, a street cleaner came, and of course, right, the parents discovered, and of course, right, you know, two days ago, right, she passed away. La. Amen, come on, church, listen, la. amen. You know, each one of them, right, have, you know, each one of them, right, are accountable to the death, la. amen, on the judgment day, la. each one of them, la. And each one of us must understand, listen, amen, there's no, you know, each one of us, right, we need to be conscious, we need even this morning, right, amen, you know, to, be, to live in a world, right, there are people out there, la, amen, that need to be touched, la, amen, let us, listen, let us not be so busy that we lose the world. Coca-Cola, right, used to have this theme before, I don't know whether they still have the theme now, la. you know, the theme was, listen to this, la. think globally, but act locally, la. I don't know whether that's the same theme, la. Any, okay, think globally, but act locally. You need to think, like, you need to think rather right, the big vision. La. But listen, you need to also act locally. La. Amen. You need to make sure, right, even the people around you, right, amen, you know, can be cared for. La. We need to minister, right, to the needs around them. Church, this morning, right, we're going to look at some scriptures in 1 Peter chapter 2, and then we're going to look at some scriptures in 1 Peter chapter 4. La. In chapter 2, verse 9, la. come on, say this with me. La. I am chosen. La. Come on, everybody, I'm chosen. Come on, say this, everybody. I am chosen. I am a royal priesthood. Amen. Church, listen, each one of us needs to realize that we are chosen. Amen. This is the old King James. Amen. Can we get the new King James? Okay. Amen. Each one of us, right, are jo a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy na nation, a peculiar or special people. Amen. Listen, let no one, right, and no circumstance, right, tell you who you are. I mean, you know, sometimes when people go through battles or come through very, un, you know, very uh, uh, sad family backgrounds, right? somehow, right, the circumstances tend to shape us. Right? But listen, like, no one, why? Because the scripture says, right, we are chosen, right? each one of us. Right? The scripture declares that each one of us, right, is a royal priesthood. Right? You know, when the scripture speaks about a priesthood, that means, right, we represent people before God and we represent God before people. Can I hear an amen? Amen. The scripture says, right, we are a special people. Each one of us, right, is a special people. And listen, that's why, right, we can make a difference. Right? Amen. That's why, right, that each one of us, right, even this morning, right, you know, we can, you know, wherever we are, like, whoever we may be, right, we can touch some life for Jesus Christ. Right? You know, this morning, you know, as the worship practice was going on, it was such a joy to see some of the people from the seminar. You know, they were wondering what was happening here, and they came and sat down here, and they were just observing some of the things that were going on. Amen. Good. Praise God. La. Amen. We're in a place. Uh, and listen, you know, we are here, right, you know, to make a difference. La. In the book of, you know, chapter, in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 5, the scripture says, you also as living stones. Come on. Say this with me. I'm a living stone. Come on. Each one of us, right, is the living stone. La. Each one of us this morning, right, is the living stone built into a spiritual house. La. Amen. It is not a dead stone, but a living stone. That's why, right, everyone has significance. Right? Everyone has a purpose. Right? Everyone, right, plays a vital part, right, in the spiritual house. Right? The scripture goes on to say in chapter 2, verse 11, Amen. We are so sojourners and pilgrims. Right? Come on, don't live as though, right, Amen, your life, right, starts on earth and ends on earth. Right? You know, our life, right, may have started on earth. Right? But even before, right, our life started, God already formed us, right, in His mind. Right? Amen. And yet, right, in you know, our life doesn't end on here and here. La. Why? Because we have an eternity to live. La. Amen. Here is just a passing through. La. We are mere sojourners. We are just mere pilgrims on earth. La. And so we live for an eternity. La. In chapter 2, verse 12. La. Amen. Listen. La. Amen. The scripture says here, right, that you are an influencer. La. Conduct yourself in chapter 2, verse 12. La. Conduct yourself honorably among the Gentiles, so that in the case where they speak against you as those who do evil, they may, by observing your good works, glorify God in a day of visitation. Friends, listen this morning. Uh, when people look at us, uh, amen, by our good conduct and our good works, what is going to happen? They're going to glorify Christ. Uh, 
Can I hear an amen? No? And so when you get to work, friends, listen, when you go to school, when you go to college, when we come here, after this, right, when you leave this place, when you meet, right, the parking attendant, or maybe, right, when you go for lunch, listen, you know, your good, right, by your good conduct, by our good conduct, and by our good works, what is this? You know, people will begin to glorify Jesus, Lord. You know, I got permission from Malati just to share this testimony. Like. About two weeks ago, about three weeks ago, right? You know, listen, you know, uh, 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 you know uh, 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 her son, Shailen, amen. You know, uh, Malati had called Dr. James and Dr. James said, listen, this guy needs help. Like. Amen. And so, you know, and so, you know, uh, you know, when they called us up and, you know, and listen, I told her, why don't you bring him to the office? And here was a boy, you know, just maybe, but how old was he? Uh, 33, like. You know, 33, when he walked into the office, man, you know, I looked at him I, and he looked much older than me. La. I'm 53, la. 53, right? Okay, he's 33. La. And, you know, and as you looked there, right, as you looked at me, he said, Pastor, you know, my life is, you know, my life is in a mess. You know, Pastor, listen, no, you know, listen, my life, I just messed up my life. La. And then he looked at me and said, Pastor, look at Dinesh and Ravin and, you know, look, Pastor, they all look so smart and so nice. I could be like them. La. I said, of course you can be like them, la. And then he said, Pastor, you know, it's over. Like, Pastor, you know, yes, you know, I have, a, I, have a, um, I have a wife and a kid, right? And listen, you know, Pastor, but I'm so useless and you know, I, my life has failed. You know, I'm just so messed up. You know, I'm an alcohol. I've been in prison. And, you know, and Pastor, you know, listen, you know, my life is over. I've been to a center before. Nothing has happened. I said, listen, amen, listen, you know, you know Jesus can change your life. Like. And I told him, listen, uh, God, listen, you just give us two years like, and just listen to us. Like. And listen, you know, God will help us. Like. You know, God can help you. Like. He said, you know, and, you know, and he was, you know, and you know, I could smell alcohol on his breath. Like. Amen. And, you know, and so we were just journeying through Malati. We were just encouraging him. Like. And then, right, you know, and then I said, listen, Jesus can help you present the gospel. Like. And that morning, right, Shailen gave his heart to Jesus Christ. Like. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, you know, as he gave his heart to Jesus, you know, and, you know, and for me, right, this was the greatest privilege. Like. I looked at him, you know, he said, Pastor, I said, he said, Pastor, I'm just useless, you know, I'm nobody, you know, and listen, I said, listen, two years, right, God can make you someone significant. Like. That is what he told me. Like. He said, Pastor, anytime you go to Tanjung Malim, mention my name like, and everything will be taken care of. Like. Oh, I think we need to start a church in Tanjung Malim like, and mention <laughs> Amen. And you know, and, and you know, and here he is, right? You know, and you know, and here, right, he is, right, you know, at the age of 33, at a young age. And you know, and so I looked at him, even this, you know, you know, listen, man, you know, God can change people. And so listen, we called, right, you know, the green pastures, he's in green pastures, and they made an interview. And of course, right, went for the interview. And you know, as I looked at this whole journey, right, you know, there were so many people in the office that day because we're doing our renovations. Like, amen. There's Ravin, there was, you know, there was Dinesh, there was also Victor. He was talking. Victor took them, you know, took him, took the family right to the center. Korean was there as well. Like. And you know, and so, right, you know, we were all there and people were just talking to him. Like. People were just treating him, right, the way, right, Jesus would treat him. Like. Amen. Listen, don't ever look down at people. Like. Why? Because, you know, some people have had a harder time, like. You know, some people, even this morning, right, you know, have gone through circumstances that we will never ever dream of. Like. Amen. Some people, right, have been abused. Like. You know, some have been abused physically, some have been abused sexually. Like. And you and I, right, you know, sometimes we think we're so smart, we judge and we put people into various boxes. Like. But Jesus doesn't do that. Like. Amen. And as I looked at him, right, you know, amen. And, you know, of course, right, he didn't get a place in the center that day. Like. And then, right, next morning they came and he was there. Like. He said, you know, Pastor, as long as I'm in your office, right, nobody's going to steal anything. Like. Oh, man. I told him, right, in three years' time or two years' time, right, after you finish the center, like, when we get our big church place, right, you can be our security officer. Like. Amen. Like. So there's a security officer in the making. Like. And then, you know, and then, right, you know, the center, and I praise God for, you know, Jeff and, you know, the green pastures, voice. Amen. You know, and so, right, you know, he went to the center. You know, just before he went, he said, he said this to me. Like. He said, Pastor, I'm going to the center, but don't send me there and, for don't send me there and forget about me. Like. And so, listen, I said, I'll come and visit you. Like. And so, last Tuesday, like, you know, I had a bit, you know, some of you know I'm so busy, but last Tuesday, I had a bit of time, I took Dinesh, like, and both of us went to the center. Like. Of course, I had to spend some time with Jeff, who runs the center, and then spent some time with Shailen. Like. And now he's really looking good. Like. Man, he looks really 33. Like. You know, he looks 33. Like. And then, right, you know, the, 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 you know, they were saying, right, you know, that, you know, he is volunteered to take care of their garden and, and then also that morning, right, he cooked some real mutton stuff, like, you know, for the center. Like. Amen. You know, amazing.